Hi guys, hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I missed you so so much. Thank you for coming back. If you are a returning subscriber, I love you so much. Thank you for choosing to be here. Thank you for choosing to listen to my content and subscribing, liking, and even sharing with your friends. If you are new, welcome to this amazing home platform. We love you so much and we welcome you here. I hope you're here to stay. My good name is Christine Maina and today I'm in with another interesting video, Kama Kawaida. If you haven't watched my previous videos, kindly make sure go watch them, like them, subscribe and don't forget to drop a comment. So today I'm in with another video and I want us to have a conversation. Hmm? You know I'm the queen of conversations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and today i want us just like the topic states i want us to talk about or rather i want to talk about ways you can boost your confidence this is a very interesting topic that i am very very happy to to be part of it and i hope you are also excited about this so if you haven't subscribed yet before we start kindly just give me a give me a subscribe plus one plus one to song get 500 subscribers to figure 1000 subscribers and i'll be so happy for your support so without further much ado let us get into the video step number one on how you can build your confidence is talking slowly <laughs> You know, so at this point, someone was like, "Woo, okay, okay." So talking slowly, you know, time is going nowhere. Take your time, because I tend to think people who think they're not worthy of being listened to, they tend to like unonge haraka. You talk so you 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 can't talk slowly. Unako so fast, you talk so fast, and that's a sign that you're not really confident with what you're saying. So if you can practice talking slowly, take it easy, be calm, make sure you're composed, take it easy, communicate word by word without like letting some words pass. That is a huge huge step of on how you can build your confidence okay something i'm also learning because <laughs> i feel like how I, sometimes i talk so fast especially when i'm anxious <laughs> yeah but i think it's something we can learn it's something we can it's a skill we can always like try and apply it talk slowly make sure you're authentic make sure every word you coming out of your mouth someone can understand it someone can listen be simple just take it slow be calm yes Point number two is uh, being able to accomplish small goals. Sip some water. So, I know we have goals. I know we have visions. We have like things we want to accomplish. And most of these things, zinakwanga, big things. Uh, before the year ends, I want to do these. I want to buy a car i want to move out of this house you understand we all have these big big goals but having being able to accomplish small goals that you have in your life is one of the best ways you can take pride you can be proud of yourself and that can boost your confidence something as small as i will wake up at 6 30 a.m i will work out for 30 minutes I'll make my bed before uh, before leaving the bedroom. You understand? Those, those are small, small goals that people ignore. They can really, really boost your confidence. They can they make you feel proud of yourself, and being proud of yourself automatically boosts your confidence. Like be able to accomplish small goals. I know we have big goals, we have ideas, we have we have a lot of things we want to accomplish. But being able to accomplish the small ones that we have set for ourselves, like just making your bed as the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning, making that five minute prayer in the morning when you wake up is those small, small goals for me. Try that. And I know that can can do massive, can do can do can do magic because because it's gonna enhance your prayer. Well, imagine you wake up in the morning and you do everything you had purpose to do that morning. Leave alone the, the big things you had planned for the day. Just waking up in the morning, making your bed, big, being able to, to shower. Like the small goals, I don't know, you know better about the small goals you have in your life. I'm sure once you're able to accomplish these small, small goals, it will really, really, really boost your confidence. A lot of people, ignore the power of dressing nicely i know high chances are if you dress nicely confidence yako usually is up if you don't dress nicely you're not boosting your confidence this one i know a lot of people can can what is it called can you can attest 
most of the times when you're dressing nicely, your confidence is up. You feel good about yourself. You know, like, yeah, my hair's looking nice. Um, I'm looking good in, in, in what I'm wearing and all that. These can literally boost your confidence. I know everyone feels nice when when you're dressing nice when you've been able to like match colors i don't know i don't know if it's with everybody but if you're struggling with confidence try and work on how you dress trust you me that one will work don't just wake up and get out of the house looking the way you just want to look like like no just at least dress up accessorize like look nice you know it's gonna boost your confidence Honestly, it does. And dressing nice doesn't mean like going for those expensive attires and all that. If you can afford well and good, but dressing nice is dressing according to the occasion or my dressing, uh, according to where you're going, you know, and being able to just appear good and looking nice for yourself. That one will again boost your confidence. Try that. Try that. Then come and tell me what you think or how you experienced it. The other way we can always build our confidence is empowering yourself with knowledge i think this is one of the best strategies one can can use to build their confidence because if you know something you become confident that you can speak about it or you can share with someone and this is somewhere people a lot of people are lagging behind the fact that you don't know the fact that you're not informed you don't know what is happening you don't know you you just don't know you're in darkness you understand and that is so wrong Make sure you make an extra step, an extra step every time to know what is happening, to know like, to just to be informed. Knowledge is power. It's very important to know how to go about some situations, to understand like this is how you can handle this and this. Knowledge is very important. Be able to read books, be able to listen to people who know better than you, be able to also share what you have so that you can have space for information too. To ha so that information can have space in your life. It is very, very important to know and to be knowledgeable. That's why people go to school. That's why people read books. That's why people, we do all these things in order to get information. So on to our next point, let's talk about um, maintaining an eye contact. I know this is something that most people struggle with, but if you're on your journey of building self-confidence, Try out maintaining eye contact when talking to people, when if someone is addressing you, when holding conversation, it's very, very important to to maintain an eye contact eye contact because once you're able to maintain eye contact, it helps you focus, it it enhances your focus, it helps you concentrate. And communication in a core more effective when you maintain an eye contact and this now improves your confidence because you're able to understand and to and you're able to receive whatever whatever is you're being told or whatever uh, the topic is about or the kind of a conversation you guys are having so i feel like also maintaining an eye contact during communication during conversation is another way you can greatly boost your confidence try it today <laughs> on to our last point is another way you can you can build your confidence is um being self-aware and self-awareness is the art of understanding yourself knowing yourself uh uh just being aware of yourself being aware of your emotions being aware of what triggers you being aware of uh your dislikes and your likes and i feel like self-awareness is a journey it's not like um you won't just you won't wake up one day or you won't reach a point and you're like i'm i'm fully self-aware because every season and every phase in life in unveil uh, uh, i feel like every season or a phase that you we are you're in in life in um in a reveal a different aspect of you so i feel like self-awareness is a journey and if you can be present or you can if you can be intentional in becoming self-aware that's another strategy to build your confidence be able to understand yourself be able to know like what are your triggers what what are your emotions what makes you feel a certain way why do you think the way you think why do you do things the way you do them i feel like most of the people who are self-aware or most of the people who have taken uh self-awareness as um as a who have been intentional in self-awareness are more confident so you can also embark on the journey of self-awareness take time with yourself 
take time to understand yourself what are your triggers who you are what you like what you don't like what makes you happy like just just embark on a journey of self awareness and i think i'll try now do i'll try do a video about self awareness um i'll know how to I'll, i'll 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 see how i can go about it and i know it's going to be impactful and very helpful to us all so i hope you've all enjoyed this video make sure you you can always share with someone whatever you've learned if it's impactful to you if it's a very important if it's important to if this content is important to you kindly share with your friends be be sure to let them know that we talk about good vibes and we have real time conversations here and i love you so much thank you for staying thank you for choosing to watch this video and i can't wait to see you here again make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed welcome to my channel i love you so much and thank you for staying till next time cheers